Hey guys, I'm Rob Bass, and this is Speaking Geek, the video blog series about all the things geeky, wonderful, and anything I feel like talking about. And today, I want to talk about my friend Chuck Suffle over at whatyourreading.com. He wrote a great article about digital versus print in terms of comics, how do you collect. And uh, this was like 13 or 12 years ago. There'd be no way I would ever say digital. I would always say print because print is you hold it in your hand, you can read the book. You collect. Being a part of a collector, you want to collect things and having a book in your hand to collect and put it in plastic and backing, put it in a long box, those drawer boxes, whatever you way of collecting and and it feels like special. It's not just like oh, I put it on a computer, I read the book and I'm good. You can't collect digital work, can you? Well, it comes to the fact that like, you know, so years later, uh, you know, guys know my dad. So I needed room. I had well over 30,000 comics in, in a room. And I said, I need this room for my daughter. And I said, I gotta, I gotta get rid of them. So I contacted the comic book store here in New York. Um, and they came, they collected my books and said, we'll give you money. Now my collection didn't just consist of like 90s and 80s. I had books from the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. I was a real collector. I collected everything from really crazy things like the, the original Daredevil with the half red and half blue costume from the 40s. I had uh, true crime books. I had Archie books in the 50s. I had a, a big collection. In the, in the 60s, I had a lot of Marvel books, Amazing Spider-Man, Fantastic Fours. I had a really solid collection of comics and worth, worth good. The 70s, I had like The Punisher's first appearance and had uh, Wolverine's first appearance. I had a lot of great comics. I kept the Marvel number one and things to that nature. So I said, well, I'm just going to keep my Captain America books. And my wife kept her Vampirella and Dawn comic books, so she's a big fan of that. And miscellaneous comic books that we kind of really just enjoyed. And we dwindled that 40, 30,000 to like maybe 10,000, maybe five, 6,000. I haven't really counted, but I kept all my cap stuff and stuff like that. And I kept all my trades because if I'm going to collect anything, I would collect the trade paperbacks. So um, I sold it and I got a whopping $125. Now, I could have went to eBay and sold everything myself, but I just didn't have the time. I, I had to get the house ready for the baby. And so I pretty much got screwed out of my books. And, you know, then I thought, about, well, if my books to a comic book store are only worth 125 bucks, why should I keep buying comics? I want to read them. I'll read the stories, but really, I can't keep them. I'm going to run out of room again like I did the first time. And, you know, the baby's going to get bigger. She's going to need more things. She's going to have her own things. And obviously, she's going to collect like we do. So, I guess now I lean more towards digital because digital is just easier for me. I've just read tonight like five different comics on my computer. And my wife's got the iPad and we download the, the, the Master Universe comics and we read those there. And, you know, I, I just see myself as just easier to read it. And they don't get damaged because they're digital. You know, they get stored on some cloud server and you, you'll still have them. So in a way, it's like digital wins because you just don't have room for every comic. I'll still buy my trades. I, I also I'm a big collector of history of comic books and things like that. So uh, my question to you guys is: uh, Are you print fan or digital fan? I, I know where Chuck stands on it, and a lot of people. I mean, I find that there's a room for both, but limited for print, especially if you don't have a mansion. You're going to end up putting it in a storage locker, paying money, then you'll lose it, and then some guy in storage hunts just comes and takes it on you. So, all right, guys, I'm Rob. You know, thanks for watching. Go to alternativeminds.com, M I N D Z. Uh, follow me on Twitter at altminds, M I N D Z, altminds, get it. And, uh, of course, subscribe to the channel. I always use you guys, and always go to my website and uh, check out whatyourreading.com. That's Chuck Suffle. And, uh, till next time.